Hey guys, it's Blogging Up to Season 11, Episode 22 of Criminal Minds. Here we go. Previously on Criminal Minds. No! Peter Lewis, we had two very biological parents and they ran the foster home. This has to be where all the victims stayed before they were adopted and their names were changed. Looks like we found Mr. Scratch. Uh oh. He surrendered? That, one, that spoiled me. Antonio Slade. She was. This reminds me of that morning in Budapest. As I recall, that particular breakfast lasted all day. Well, we could try that again. Except you'd have to call in sick. That's very tempting. <laughs> Let's just tell her we're just seeing each other again. You're happy, I'm happy. She will be too. This is a big deal. <laughs> oh. Do you think she knows? She's a reporter. I think she might have a hunch. I mean, the thing is, you have to take the camera. It just flies by. I know. I've heard Alaskan cruises are pretty amazing. Mom is a phobia. I've been on one. Water? Or on cruise ships specifically? Okay. Alaskan cruise. Yeah. We're talking about vacations. Guess where I'm going? Hmm. To visit Emily? Yes. How did you know that? Because nothing else would make you this exciting. <laughs> oh, oh. Have you ever been to London before? Yes, one time for you. Oh, I am putting the castle on. Would anyone like a pop car? <laughs> yeah, with 15 minutes. A lot of Doctor Who, you guys. No big deal. You getting all packed up? Uh, what the hell? A little bit late, so. Yeah. Damn, he's growing up. Did you bring the comics? Yeah, the new one comes out today. They're yeah. friends. Really of course they are. <laughs> That's yeah, perfect. Okay, let's. Is that everything? Yeah. Yeah. No con. You're in comics. That's all right. Holy shit! I'm on the job. Drop your weapon. I'm Aaron Hodgson with the FBI. We know who you are. Hands behind your back. Is this really necessary? No. What the? What the shit? I don't know yet. I have calls hot. I just SWAT took him in? Yeah. Okay, maybe Hot was SWAT. That's an extreme prank that gamers pull on their opponents where they fake 911 call on them. It oh, it's come on. It's escalated among celebrities. If it was a prank, they wouldn't have arrested him. But everybody's gonna hang out at Mom's work today. Oh, that sounds super fun. And you've been practicing the magic trick I taught you, Jack? Can I go to my dad's office? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Come on, let's go this Everyone's here, hey, except for Prentice and Morgan and it's Gideon. How much is this? Rest in peace. All of it. Which is why I figured this is the safest place to bring them. I'm so confused. Hey, that's the VA in Unity. Please, you made a mistake. Dave, tell Jack I'm okay. <laughs> What is happening? The sea is dangerous and its storms terrible, but these obstacles have never been sufficient reason to remain ashore. Ferdinand Magellan. Zero. I want my phone call. You haven't even asked why you're here. It doesn't matter. It's either a mistake or I'm being framed. This came in today at 7.23 a.m. 911, what is your emergency? Is anyone there? Today will change everything. I'm sorry, sir. Will you repeat that, please? Today will change everything. Today will change everything. I'm sorry, sir. Will you repeat that, please? Today will change everything. How do they do that? Sleeping tech makes it seem like it's coming from Hatch's cell and using his voice. That takes. Okay, it's but even if. Reflection change. What is that? Like the word just Today will change everything. That's not a crime. All BAU press conferences led by Hodge. All right, maybe the unsub Frankenstein his voice. Probably heard what we heard. But they should be defending him, not charging him. Whoever's doing this wants me here instead of investigating. There has to be a bigger plan. And, and this has to tie into the, uh, storage unit in the guy. Virginia. My wife and I had one that's been cleared out for years. Why did you rent a van last week? 
I didn't. You ever purchase nitromethane, diesel fuel, blasting caps, or both? Yeah, that's him. No. You sure about that? Yes. My door was kicked in two and a half hours ago. How long have you had this? We've been watching you for weeks. With these three press conferences, we can prove to the Inspector General's office that Hotch's 911 call was spliced together. That's a good start, but they're not going to listen to anything we have to say until we give them a viable suspect. Especially with explosives in play. They planted enough on Hotch to make it look like he was ready to blow up the city block. There's a storm coming, and you'll be swept away. I don't know about you, but this feels like a massive storm. Can't be a coincidence. There's no way she could have pulled this off from inside prison. But she knew about it enough to toy with Hotch. Anybody want to... We each spent time with her, a lot of it, but she didn't mention the storm until Hodge went back to question her again. It was a retort after Hodge exposed her past. And her son. Which is... Oh, what if that's... What if that's who the other guy is? You always looked on the sappy side, or did that come out when you became a mother? The only reason you warned Agent Hodgner about this storm is because your son has something to do with it. And now you need our help. Not as much as you need mine. So, here's the thing about SWAT. They don't like being manipulated. So now <laughs> your son is on the shoot first, ask questions later list. I don't want him taken into custody. Alive. Of course you do. What mother wouldn't? Truth is, I can't really promise you what'll happen if he gets caught. You won't let him get killed. I know you. Today is a different day. Your son had our men point guns in the same room as my son. So, when we find him, this can go one of two ways. Oh! This is Antonia's son. His name's Asher Douglas. He lives in Northern Virginia. Early 40s is old for a swatter. But he's a match in every way that counts. He purchased the storm spoofing software. He bought several audio splicing programs. That's how he was able to make calls from Hutch's cell and sound like him. Something about this doesn't fit. Who gave you probable cause to put me under surveillance? A confidential source. Tell me now or I will invoke. You know who needs lawyers? Guilty people. Smart people. So lay out your entire case to me right now, or every attorney I know will drop everything and come help me. All right, we're recording with Peter Lewis, a.k.a. Mr. Scratch. Do you swear under penalty of perjury that the testimony you're about to give is the truth? Most certainly. And with the vice counsel, you you've got to be giving this testimony this is of your own free will. ridiculous. That is correct. The world needs to know what kind of man Aaron Hodgner really is. You've got to be kidding me. Rick, drop it, or I will shoot you. I said drop it. Wait, hold, everyone hold. Asher, if you show us what you're holding, and it isn't dangerous, we'll let you keep it. You're not police. You're with the Federal Bureau of Investigations. You're Dr. Spencer Reed. Your supervisory special agent, David Rossi. Agent Aaron Hodgner, since he is the team leader, obviously. Can I see what's in your hands? <laughs> Slowly. Aaron, my version of the A9 chip, only might or better. Can you set them down so we can call? I need to put these on you, okay? But it's for your own protection. <laughs> What? We should secure the house, but we're not going to find anything else here. Best hope is to get him talking, but that could be tough. It's like... It was March of last year. I dosed Agent Hodgner with a disassociative drug. What did this drug do? It put you in a state where you experienced a waking dream. But Agent Hodgner, well, he went in his own direction. What do you mean by that? He started rambling about how I killed his team, which I expected him. Like he was delighted in. And I'll be honest with you, in that moment, I was scared. You've got to be kidding me. Of what he could do to his own team. Or his own son, for that matter. I was scared. 
Why would you believe anything? Honestly! We didn't. But it got us digging into you. Why? You rubber stamped the unjustified shooting by Agent Rossi of the man who killed Jason Gideon, giving him a pass for the same crime you expelled Agent Green away for 10 years ago. Each of those instances was a judgment call. And it's a waste of our time. Yeah, and they're all different scenarios. They're not even comparable. He subjected you to a very powerful drug. <laughs> One that, with other victims, led to psychotic breaks. Uh, agents. We're looking at a case of counterfeit deviance. If Asher is autistic, he has trouble reading social cues. Yeah, but in this case, we're dealing with somebody high-functioning. What used to be labeled Asperger's syndrome. And that's where the counterfeit deviance comes in. How much do you know about nitromethane? It's the simplest organic nitro compound. It has an RE factor of 1.1. That's its relative effectiveness compared to... TNT. Right? Have you ever bought it? No point. What would I do with it? I used to do that. I don't do it anymore. Instead, I do this. To control how you feel when you get confused? Yes. You know, I get confused a lot too, Asher. It's actually one of the reasons I decided to study behavioral analysis. And I don't think my friend would buy 40 gallons of nitromethane. But yours might. 40 gallons? Does that mean something to you? Yeah. We talked about it once. Who? How much of a city you could wipe out with 40 gallons. <sighs> it was hypothetical. Like, like, if you had the biggest chemistry set in the world. I don't think that was a hypothetical, Asher. That someone at the DOJ would misinterpret, and someone else would use it to their advantage. That's one profile. Here's another. The most common trait is an unyielding belief he is always right, but will purposefully separate himself from his co-workers and quietly keep score. Cataloging every slight against him, he will then use those slights to justify his own self-interest. One final trigger, like a violent confrontation or a drug-induced episode. Push him over the edge. Piss off, dude. No. Piss off. Of course. It's my profile on workplace shooters. And now it fits you. And then, and this is the part I argue against in the profile, I would call 911 and tell you what I was about to do. I want to leave you. This guy's a moron! It makes me think he's involved. I direct your attention to Rossi's phone, and I will introduce you to Eric Rod. He has had multiple IRC chats with Asher until he was arrested for criminal conspiracy. What's the overlap with Hotch? Uh, are gone but not forgotten and soon to be recovered. Sir Hotch now wrote a big profile on Rod, which he defended in court. And this is revenge. No, we know it's bigger than For that? that? No way Rodden could have pulled this off while in prison. Garcia, what was the last contact Rod had with Asher? Uh, emails from last week. The IP addresses are from all over the state, but none from Virginia's Supermax prison where Rodden currently resides. Dude's so in a Supermax. Over the account or multiple someone's, depending on who's still supporting Rodden. Emails have gone hog wild over the last 12 hours, and the message is always the same. The storm breaks tonight. Get his bed ready. That's reminiscent of the emails the 9-11 hijackers sent to each other weeks before the attack. The coded messages like, this summer will surely be hot, was their way of saying the plan was set. Except this is the storm breaks tonight. He's planning a prison break. The storm breaks tonight. What? How does that happen? The boss secure. Fucking off the night. Oh shit. In the cell. So I got a faulty door on D28. Get back in now or I'll make you. <laughs> We've got multiple cells open on D5. Oh no. Multiple cells open. No one is running the show. We don't know. We're still trying to secure the prison. Okay, Warden, we're five minutes out. 
Isn't it tempting to break out like at least 10 years? Works. Rotten has another group that's been working with on the inside. Let's have me clear Hosh, they'll be gone. Something of this magnitude, probably. Not. Who's Eric Roth? He's behind this. Maybe he's your partner. If that were true, you'd have evidence. I do. You need me here as cover for missing a major terrorist incident. It's a prison break. Not to Rodney. His dream has always been to set up a bomb in a major metropolitan area. Not for any political or ideological reason. He just wants to see a city burn. And you're letting it happen. You're an idiot. Ask yourself one question. Am I more helpful here, mentally preparing a report to the subcommittee that's going to haul you in? Honestly. Or out there, catching Rotten. You're getting fired, you dumbass. Rioters still control three blocks, and the fires inside have spread us thin. Warden, this isn't a riot, it's a break. They'll never get over the wall. And they have some other way out. Every part of this plan has been meticulously crafted. We got a distress call that some of the prisoners got to the gun safe. First priority is to secure the control room. Got one! Where are the others? How are they getting out? Check behind the toilet. Oh, hell. Got it. Captain, we got a tunnel. I was about to say that guy's a cop, not a cop. Captain, do you copy? Captain. Shit. Dr. Lewis? You should know they sent me here right after you finished interviewing me. Don't appreciate my words being used against me. Sorry. Ennis, I had nothing to do. Then why was I transferred? The worst of the worst. Don't you know where you are? You're in the... It's... Oh, God. This is a serial killer. Yeah. Hey, Rod. We're all clear. Ah, uh, that's him? We're going out the same way they came in. One problem. We have feds in A&E block. We'll take care of E block ourselves. That's for A. I held back the monsters for a reason. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Girl, how many bullets are in that? About nine? Please, don't. Might be a little more. Dreamed of it. I will shoot you. I mean it. There's only one problem. You can't take us all. She can take enough of you. <laughs> Watch, 
time they were going to assemble in one of three locations and you're too compulsive to deviate. Arlington, but they're looking for you there. Appomattox County's too far away. Garcia, we've got a location. I need you to give it to all available SWAT resources. Wow. See, I see this as terror. say that there's a bomb in there you <laughs> all you have to do is hit it boom the line dividing good that was wild cuts through the heart of every human being jesus alexander solzhenitsyn myself into thinking that things would be different. I, I think you did too. It is different. David, the job will always be the same. Yes. But I'm different. Do me just one favor. Before you make any decision, meet my team. They're the only family I have outside of you and Joy. On one condition. If you meet the team, they'll be family. Let me call our daughter back. Friends, Tara, this is Hayden Montgomery. On m'a dit que vous étiez diplomate britannique à Paris. Vous discutez arrondissement. Vous parlez français très bien, madame. She's my favorite so far. Nothing sneaky about it. It's merely magic. I need your blow on this card, please. You blow, and this is your card. No. That's not your card? Wait, hold on. Okay. Oh. That your card? Oh! <gasps> oh, how did you do that? We had a hard time putting both boys down last night. Who couldn't sleep? On the way around. I didn't want to leave them. <laughs> but he's not going to forget seeing me at gunpoint. I just don't want this job to take anything else away from it. Well, maybe it gives them something too. Whoever ordered that should be fired immediately. Not a pretend hero, a real hero. Oh, wait, wait, don't go. Oh no. Oh my what god. What are you doing? Oh, Gotta go. Yeah. What is it now? Three more prison breaks in three different states, all organized by Robin's partners from this Holy last shit! The local field office got a head start because of what we did. They stopped the bomb threat, but. Who didn't they catch? All have serial killer wings, just like Gay Max. How many got away? As of right now, 13 serial killers, one of which is Peter Lewis. Mr. Scratch. That's why he testified against you. He's part of the plan all along. So we have to catch him again. Are you kidding me? And that's going to be season 12. <sighs> that sucks. That sucks so bad. I like the concept of it, though. And of course, he's out. Which I could totally see them. I could totally see this being another situation that what happened with Hotch and his wife. But like a more dangerous one.
might go after his kid. Like, video, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. On to season 12. See y'all next time.